This is smithy.tv. All right, this is Kenny Robinson here in the bunkers of Smitty TV with Breaking Down News with my good friend Clifton Joseph. Hey, 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 hey. If you're just tuning out, you just missed a whole lot of nonsense and a whole lot of facts and figures with uh, no, uh, no way to prove it or uh, strengthen it about what went down in Paris, France this past weekend. And, uh, and now uh, we had the G20 summit. Mm hmm happening in Turkey. Yep. See, now, notice that they ain't got no misbehaving people in Turkey like they do here in Toronto. Well, Turkey took in, what, a couple of millions of, um, of Syrian refugees, right? Yeah, but they just trying to throw them out. The, like, you know, they're like a turnstile at the, C, at the TTC. Germany, they've taken a million. Mm -hmm. You know, but they, they know how to handle mass, uh, mass populations, so they ain't worried about that, you know. But, I mean, it, it's the right wing in Germany and in, and in France and in England, they're all getting, uh, they're all getting their sack pretty easy. Oh, yeah, over we're going to see that. And, of course, there is that uh, refugee camp in France, in Paris, that, 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 that they burnt, burnt, nearly burnt down after the, 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 the uh, attacks. And, of course, and the buildings a, are always getting burnt down. The, 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 the projects or wherever it is where they put a lot of these refugees over yeah. there in Europe, they're always torching them. And, of course, here in Peterborough, we've had uh, the, uh, the only mosque in Peterborough the was, only uh, mosque. was lit on fire, too. Just, uh, I had somebody say, let's not go 9-11. Maybe it was electrical fire. And I, and I had to say, read the article. The police say they are treated as a hate crime. Yep, it certainly is. So for one of these cats that are all law and order, how come you don't believe the police all of a sudden? You know? so, all, so, Kenny, here's what's going on. I mean, so this Syrian uh, um, civil war has been going on for over two years. But now years. it's war on The ISIS. Americans have been bombing. The, the, the NATO has been in there with Canada bombing for two, 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 bombing two years. Bombing softly. Yeah, uh, Putin went there with Russia, and they did some serious bombing. I don't know how serious, because they're and, playing Phil. And now, now... France is doing some bombing too. Well, they dropped 20 bombs, so it's like, and they, the targets America gave. So America's like, yeah, go drop them over there, nobody will get hurt. So, uh, so you know what they did? They allowed the drivers, they bombed a convoy of fuel trucks. They allowed the bomber, the truck drivers, time to get out of the trucks. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But you know so why they did that? Because everybody's tired of collateral damage. So America's being extra careful. But you know who we have to be careful with? Our own brand new prime minister, mm -hmm. Justin Trudeau, because he has stuck to his guns. He said uh, uh, all weekend I've had on Facebook, I had to watch people be uh, horrified. He said, well, this doesn't change my plans for us to get out of uh, the bombing of uh, Syria and Iraq. We're, uh, we said we're pulling out and uh, we're not going to do this. Well, I don't know. Now that he's met Obama and some of the other leaders. Um, he just said an he, hour ago he's he ain't waffling. changing it. Yeah, but, but he says, too, just before that, uh, what, two days or three days ago, that uh, now he hasn't given the order yet, so I don't know what he's waiting on. Right. He says he's waiting on being responsible. He's waiting to get all the keys and the stationery. He's still only been in there a week. So how responsible are you going to be? And then he says, also, we want to be, we want to contribute. We want to see to seem to be contributing, and we're going to train. Kenny? The worst thing you can do is train soldiers from Afghanistan and anywhere in the Middle East. You know how many years they trained them Afghanis and they never were able to fight? How long have they been training them guys they in Iraq? They either do two things. They either this turn training, on you, mm -hmm. they, if they're the, good. Like a woman you give new shoes and an education to. They turn on you. <laughs> <laughs> or they drop their shit and run. So the prime minister or is drop, waffling already. They, but they run, but but they drop the shit and run, though, don't they? Yeah. So why are you going to train these guys when you know? I mean, there's a, at least a decade or two. Well, they're going to train the Kurds, and the Kurds are hard bastards. They've been fighting the, the, Kurd, Turks the Kurds can fight and don't mess the Iraqis. With the Kurds. Don't mess with the Kurds. And the Kurds are the ones that just went and cleaned up all these ISIL camps. Yep, they have. Because America have. said we'll give you all some some new boots and some weapons. But it's it's a pretty complicated situation because uh, Turkey is fighting the Kurds. Yeah. But um, the West is is arming the the, the Kurds. So they don't want the Turkey don't want the Kurds to get too tight. It's Turkey like if you got two sons Syria. fighting, which one do you cheer for? So the prime minister is is is, is getting a sober dose of um, international minister. political yes. reality. So I expect to see him waffle and waffle some more like a waffling chicken meal. He's gonna say what he's been saying. We need time. Uh, we can't just make hasty Well, that's what Kretchen did. Remember, he stalled about going into that. Yeah, well, Kretchen said, Iraq. outright, no, we ain't coming. But he, he said, but unless it, it goes, but, you know, we will, we, you know we, we will see if there is a need for us to. And he waffled, too. That's what Canadians do. We waffle. You know why we had to get rid of Harper? Because there's no waffle okay. in this game. Well, but, but He wanted to take the lead. The prime minister does say, though, he's not waffling and accepting 25,000 
uh, Syrian refugees. In fact, the first 10,000 are being processed as we speak. Now, so he that's says a he's whole different keep, ball game. He's going to keep to his guns. So, of course, uh, that's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Oh, too. it's already a war. It's already a war. Because I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But um, my concern, though, is that because basically also we're pulling out of the bombing thing because bombing doesn't do any good. Yeah. Because they, they bombed the shit out of bin Laden when he was in Afghanistan. What they yeah. do? They Hide just, in the caves. They just and go further go, in the mm -hmm, cave. Mm -hmm. And then they wait for shit to calm down. Then they come out and pop, 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 pop. Then they go back in it. So, but they got to send in boots. But they, they, they won't because, again, uh, the, the policy really is perpetual war, Kenny, well, especially in the Middle East. I'm saying Notice that, that there's always a war coming up. In, like, for instance, once we get... So, when America okay, didn't even know there was a Middle East, there was a war there. We got over bin Laden. You don't hear about it. They say they killed bin Laden. Yeah. But then here comes this guy in, in Uganda, Kony. Remember that dude? We don't hear much about that dude, right? Kony, remember Kony? Yes, he gone. All them child so, soldiers. Then, yeah. Then, wow. Then here is um, Boko Haram. Mm -mm. Where's our daughters? They and then, of course, here comes ISIS now. So what happens? There always is a boogeyman. There always is a bad man. A boogeyman. And they're all, it seems to me, tied to the West in terms of funding and training. Don't well, you find? Well, because the West got the money. Well, no, not, let's just say the West. Oh, you got to count Russia as the West. Yes, yes. I can't, you know, I can't wait. Russia's you know, because, well, somehow Russia doesn't get included in that, though. When you see no, the, yeah, yeah, when usually, you see the rest, right away, you see the English bulldog and the American eagle. But you also got to think that French, big, badass Russian... Well, I never think the, the, the French is doing anything other than just profiteering. What? The French, the French has troops all over French Africa, man. They Do still they? collect collect, still? Um, they collect reparations from a lot of those countries still. They went into Mali, remember? Yes, but I, I always see them as just like retreating. I never see them as... No, no, no. The French quietly are big-time imperialists like the Americans. The well, French don't mess bigger. around. Yeah. In fact, they hired they, the Americans in 1915 doing, to collect money from Haiti. They've been doing it longer than the Americans, and they keep, yes. on, keep on doing it. You know. So it's a pretty complicated situation. So our new prime minister, as wet behind the ears as he is, as he is has got to face this tragedy now and this situation. So is he going to stick to his guns with pulling out our, 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 our CF-18s and the bombing stop? Bombing I, don't think this, I don't think the bombing's doing much, so yeah. I don't have a problem with him pulling them out. But, but he's not given the order yet. He can. He's but, made other moves. But it will... Okay. I believe he's going to stick to it, but I, I wonder, though, are we going to spend in our, uh, our special op troops? I, th I think that's what each... Oh, I think those troops are there. Remember, they went, in? In, they went in there before the planes went well, in. Well, they right? say they're training and what have you. Yeah. Okay, so now, okay, we only got uh, enough time for the, to talk about the, the 25,000 uh, uh, terrorists that are being brought over. Um, <laughs> 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 I say that, and I don't believe it, mm. okay? Um, you know, but one of the guys in Paris, he came through, he came through as a, as a, as, as a refugee. Okay, American government, they say it's going to take them 18 to 24 months for them to vet each uh, appli applicant. Wow, that's a lot of time. Well, but... but what, do it, do, what do you do, keep them in camps, in concentration camps? I think they just want to see how they act a little bit. You know, and they want to they look him because... They kept the reason why they wouldn't close Gitmo is because they don't want to let them people in, even if it meant putting them in a prison in a different state, right? So maybe they'll send somebody. So to already Gitmo. some governors were saying, "Don't send them to our state." Mm -hmm. So the only thing America can do is say, "Well, we're gonna run a fine tooth comb over them and see if there's anything," you know. So now, but I definitely believe that uh, that Trudeau's uh, mandate to have them done by the end of the year is much too short. It's a tight, tight timeline. So. It, and especially when you think what what you know what is to what is to uh, be the price of it. But I also I've, I've also been oh, writing. I mean uh, the price of it. I've, oh, I've, you mean I've, the cost, I've, actual cost. The cost, the, the mm -hmm. cost is just one of these bastards is something we won't see another liberal government for years. Yeah, I mean, of course, hey, no we'll matter how totally you scream, right. yeah. no matter how you scream, gonna there's going to be one one. or two people that will come through. I mean, you can scream. I think the biggest, until the you biggest threat to Canada right now is not an immigrant coming into the country. He's already here. He doesn't have a job, but he's got a lot of data, and he's got access to a computer. And he's sitting there, and he's getting all the ideas of glory. Mm. Well, I don't know. Given from some of the, the latest trials that went on with those guys with Via Whale, with those guys who went out on somebody's property. Oh, they property. were dedicated. That one cat got sentenced. He <laughs> said, I'm not going to acknowledge this law. But I only acknowledge Kenny, it's the, like, law it's of like, the law of It's the comedy of errors. If these guys are the terrorists, I'll take them. I mean, cause Let's hope they're this way. Because they, these guys haven't got a clue about what's going on. Let's, let's just hope that's the Canadian inferiority complex in our terrorists. 
Let's hope even our let's hope even our homegrown terrorists uh, terrorists have that Canadian inferiority complex. I could never take out a mass killing. I'm a Canadian. Yeah. Dot dash 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 um, let's, dash dash let's dash. Get a, let's get a standing committee going. Let's get an inquiry going whether we should or not. So I don't. I think, need a grant. I don't think. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty complicated situation, and uh, I don't know how all of this is going to affect what's actually going on in Syria. And the West has to take into consideration more, and, and even individual people, those people on Facebook who are all sympathetic and putting their flags up, have to consider what your governments are doing in the West. Who are they funding? Why are they there? Why are they funding these so-called moderate groups who turn out to be real extreme? Because you got to see the extreme groups. So, so what it is, we got to peel back the layers and say, like what John is, McCann would have gave his money to want to give American weapons and, and, and help to just anybody there that said they were against Assad. Yeah, you see, so because the West is after trying to take out Assad. They're not so concerned, it seems to me, about taking out ISIS. I think that they've been bombing. They've been bombing a lot of... Um, Do you believe Assad people. needs to go? Um, well, it's not up to me. It's up to the country. They elected him. And you say, well, hey, they elected the dude. So I think... Actually, uh, Americans are really not even sure about Assad going out there because they're saying, we just can't take out well, a regime see, unless we got the right regime to put in well, place. Well, this is all... You see what happened in, in Libya. They took out Gaddafi, and yeah. what's happened? They, Big time disaster. Well, no, Benghazi, but except for Benghazi, they've been pretty quiet and well-behaved in Libya since. <laughs> if you think so, but it's, a, it's now a f so-called failed state. Nothing sure. really works. Things well, are happening there. That Danny Bush told his son, don't invade Iraq. You'll destabilize the entire region. And what has happened to that entire region? Destabilization. And I believe, to tell you the truth, Kenny, that destabilization is what the West is after. That constant state of, of destabilization. You move from one country to the next to the next, and you take them down so they can't really get together to do anything. Meantime, the Saudis, the Saudis, Qatar, they're in there in Yemen. The Saudis funded, I mean, funded the guys from 9-11. Most of those guys were Saudis. How come they're not going after the Saudis, Kenny? Why did they let the plane leave on September 12th? They. And you know how many um, ex public executions take place in Saudi Arabia? A friend of mine was in Saudi Arabia. She said they had a McDonald's in a building across the street from one of the stadiums, and you could have a Big Mac and watch a... I take the kids once. I would take them once just to go see what happens if you steal. Damn, that's a bit extreme, Kenny. Well, that's what they call it, extremists. And we're <laughs> more of the extremists, except for the king of the extremists, the Saudis. So, 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 so you think our prime minister now, he's gotten his first big test, and you think he'll pass it. He'll stick to the 25,000 Syrian refugees by the end of the year, and see. he will pull out of the bombing of Iraq I hope that, and Syria. Know, I'd like to see him pull out of the bombing, okay? And you know, I like a good bombing as much as the next person. I just don't believe the bombing strategy is going to work. And I'd like to see a little bit more time with, uh, with them 25,000 people coming through. Wow. Yeah, because I don't I mean, know. I mean, you couldn't check. I mean, okay, we got to wrap this segment up. But if you owned a club in downtown Toronto and you had 25,000 brothers to get through, you would uh, not. You, it would, you it would, would take, take more a, time. It would to, take a while. It would take that. It would take longer <laughs> than the time shoot over. Show will be starting in ten days. Just to wind them down. And, well, that's why black events only start late. But you know, <laughs> it's not that we don't get there in time. We, we get there a day early just for security. People complain about taking off your shoes and security. Try going to a black club on a Friday or Saturday night. You will be touched by. You'll be touched by nation of Islam brothers in places that doctors don't want to touch. You will have all kinds of electronical things touch you and frisk you and beep you. Kenny, I went to a showdown at, uh, by the Harbor Fund. I had like three brothers did me first, and then they passed me on to their sister. Look, she was so thigh. I know Kenny. the one. And she's heavy set, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I went back to her and said, sister, if I put on a gig, uh, uh, I'm going to hire you. But uh, can you do me a game? Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> I got petted down three. I went in and out about five times. I think Kenny. I might have something <laughs> hidden. <laughs> a, little, a little further up, further up. <laughs> you, may, you know, you heard about that underwear bomber. Well, I'm the commando of the underwear bombers. You better check me. Anyway, folks, you're going to have to check us later because, once again, this is, we're out of time for this segment. We don't, need, we don't need you watchers. Look how much fun Clifton and I have without you. We got to tell our people to like get a drink, get a baguette, get a white woman, smoke some weed, and tune us in. Smitty TV, Breaking Down News, Kenny Robinson. We'll be right back 
I think we already chewed up all my topics, but we'll be right back with something.